play it's not it's you know and that's one of the very few songs that is both irish and scottish and it's funny on saint patty's day so many scots are proud to have fought for scottish independence irish people really did make a difference it's underplayed in such films as uh braveheart and and other films but the irish really helped to make that that difference between uh, with with Irish conscripts, you know, with with England having control of the island, they made a huge difference. But that uh, Donald, that's one of the reasons why Donald is has such a a significance to uh, both Irish and Scottish uh, people. And that Donald, where's your trousers song? That is, you know, it's basically it's talking about the Irish and the Scottish wearing their kilts. Uh, in pride, in rebellion to uh, English law and English uh, monarchies, it's, it's it's actually it's it's something that is worth noting. And uh, maybe I will pull up the song. Let me see if I can go ahead and have some of our our producers pull up the song. But it is absolutely it's it's one of those moving songs. It, let me see if I can grab it. See, I had mentioned to ten. Uh, a couple hours ago that I actually have literally 30 vinyl records at home of Irish music from Ireland. Before I started taking shots and stuff, I offered to give him a ride to go back and get them. I yeah, just dude, in that. your black convertible Miata, which is fucking yes. beautiful. It's like 84 degrees outside. <laughs> um, I've got the windows and, down, the hook, the top and, was down. Yeah. I drove through Topanga Canyon with the top down, and it was the most beautiful drive I ever had, and they're working on Topanga Canyon. <laughs> okay, the traffic was shit. I got stuck behind a dumpster. I didn't give a shit. I got stuck behind Ooh, uh, traffic. It didn't matter because I was driving with my top down and my new Mazda Miata. I mean, it was a beautiful day. You were driving it's with your gorgeous. top down like you were flashing everybody? <laughs> <laughs> hey, wait a uh, minute. Up there I think the see. only person here with Irish male tits is McKen Dog because <clears throat> I've been drinking more than anybody else have been this motherfucker. But anyway, it is... Uh, it's, it's a fucking, it's a blast. You know, I always think it's funny. If you have the opportunity to make eye contact with people, if you're wearing a green shirt and you see somebody else wearing a green shirt in, a, in, in another car, in another, in a, you know, you're on the freeway or you're at a red light, you'll be surprised. If you just pinch your shirt and show the green to the person that's also wearing green, I don't care if they're Asian, South American, Hawaiian. You're going to get a thumbs up. Uh, you know, it does not matter. And to me, it's priceless. See, that's actually what I was saying earlier was I had a friend at work be like, oh, they probably don't even celebrate St. Patrick's Day in Ireland. Bullshit. I was there when I was 18. They fucking rage on yeah. St. Patrick's Day in Ireland that and all over the day. world. It's a major day. Like I don't care if you're in the Philippines. Hi, hey, Philippines. You know, we went to, we went. I went out golfing with my dad this morning, uh, so that's where we were this morning. And then uh, we stopped uh, there on Lincoln at the Costco and got uh, got gas. And uh, it we f we're filling up, and this lady comes up to us, and then we start talking about, oh, it's oh, you don't have any. The lady in front of us, this midget. A midget. I, I should do not. <laughs> this girl that comes out of nowhere. A midget. She's driving this big car. I want to tell you about the midget. But I'll get back to the midget. <laughs> we'll get back to that later because midgets freak me out. I don't know. There's something wrong with them. They're too short. Um, but here, here, what it comes, what it boils down to, all right, is that um, uh, this, this, we get to talking about uh, Irish pride and um. And, and Ireland and, and who's got the most green on and how where's the definition between green and yellow because she was wearing one of these safety jackets I mean it was I mean I'm looking at McKendog and he's got my lucky Hooters shirt on uh, it says my lucky Hooters shirt I swear to you I swear to God uh, McKendog tell him I'm not lying 
I mean, you are not lying. I got my Lucky Hooter shirt with a clove. I got my green shit on. Unfortunately, the one thing I can't show you is the fact that I'm wearing uh, Irish clothed boxers with a green condom on my rock hard dick because of St. Patty's Day. <laughs> the moment I know I'm drinking alcohol, no, no. I got a rock hard Irish dick for redheaded pussy. I can't help it. Now, what were you celebrating when you bought that shirt? You know goddamn well, Colonel, because you were there. Um, it was my bachelor party and our producer, Ten's 30th birthday. 30th birthday, that's right. In Las Vegas, somebody won a lot of green, and it wasn't me and my shirt. It was some green, the old green bag dollar in your pocket. I turned $36 into about $547 playing craps over the course of two hours at 3 o'clock in the morning. And we were leaving when? Your 8 brother won $1,200. Well, my brother won $1,200, yeah, yeah. That's a beautiful uh, weekend in Vegas right there. Between the two of us, I mean, you know my brother very well. Yeah, um, um, that's between the two of us, we made almost two grand in about two hours. That's You just you took Vegas by the storm. And this is playing $2 Annie craps. This oh. isn't like high stakes or anything. This is playing bottom of the barrel fucking $2 Annie craps. That's beautiful. I mean, that's incredible right there. Hey, we, we left. We were actually staying at the Hooters Hotel and Casino. We had to. It's a novelty. That's hey, beautiful. It was fucking gorgeous. Big titty bitches fucking, you know. Exactly. <laughs>